Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, shared today the weekly meeting where the council approved a draft on amending reserve power law. The draft law aims to recognizing the payment of salaries, wages and bonuses to members of the reserve power, whether working in the government sector or in the private sector or others. The council also approved two draft laws regarding World Postal Union documents and customs cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt. It also approved a draft law regarding private educational and training institutions was aims to set up regulations and abide to the fees approved by the Ministry of Education, in addition to not increasing those fees until after the passage of three academic years from the date of its imposition, with an increase said that does not exceed 5% with the condition of the approval of the Ministry of Education. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, launched an internal system to monitor and follow up on all types of municipal violations at Ghadaybiya Palace. In the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, Information and E-Government Authority Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Al Qaid, and a number of officials from both sides. The system provides an integrated database about violations and checks the status of the existing ones where the inspectors are through or go the inspectors are through an electronic portal and smart device. The launch follows the approval of the ministerial committee at its last meeting headed by Sheikh Khalid of the system which was called for the mobile monitoring system and its approval to start its application and circulated to all municipalities. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks to the team that prepared and designated or designed the system for the unprecedented services it provides, which develops municipal work. He directed to study providing the system for ministries and government agencies. Sheikh Khalid noted that the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince gives great attention to increasing the efficiency and effectiveness of the government sector. He also noted that these sim sim or systems, which were managed in a traditional way and uh, which, uh, the, which data and details were required to be entered in offices after being monitored in different locations, are now integrated with modern technologies, adding that supporting them with advanced technologies innovations would make the task of inspecting and control more accurate. The Minister of Works expressed his thanks to the Deputy Prime Minister for the unlimited support the Ministry's projects and initiatives received from the Ministerial Committee. Khalaf affirmed that launching this monitoring system is considered a qualitative shift in dealing with municipal violations, which is an approach that the Ministry will continue to take in transforming and integrating its systems with modern technologies to maximize their utilization in the development of the Ministry's work. The Deputy Prime Minister was then briefed on the most important components of the system and how to use it. Fans celebrated Bahrain JCW X-Ray team's victory at the 2020 edition of the Dakar Rally with Bahrain X-Ray team driver and Dakar Rally first place winner Carlos Sainz and Bahrain X-Ray team driver Dakar Rally third place winner Stefan Peter Hansel. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain X-Ray team claiming victory at the Middle East's first Dakar rally is another milestone, establishing the kingdom as a hub for strategic sporting development. Winning drivers and cars were flown to Bahrain for a celebration with the fans.
prepared very hard. You need a lot of physical training, but um, you know, at the end, when you win, it's always worth to, to all the effort you have done. I would like to take the opportunity to say thank you to Bahrain. We are very proud to bring the victory here to, to the country, the car. Uh, thank you for all the support and uh, yeah, we will, uh, we will try to, to enjoy now this uh, fantastic victory. Victory for the, for the Dakar is not uh, really easy. We need uh, to work a lot to develop the car, to team like uh, all together with a good team spirit. And this year it was a nice fight. Carlos won the race and we finished on the podium. We finished third, so it was a really interesting race. And I want to thank the Bahrain because they support us for the, for the first time during the, this Dakar. And we f feel all the motivation of a lot of people behind us and they give us a lot of power, you know, to do these good results. The new partnership with Team x Raid is yet another addition to Bahrain's portfolio in motorsports. It brings a lot of attention for Bahrain in the world because Dakar is one of the most international rallies. Um, put it this way, we are fighting with Formula One who has got more interest or who creates more interest. If you look in this two weeks interval, which is the interval where no other sports is going to happen, it's a huge amount of publicity you get around the world. You get it from Japan to the US, from South America, really to North, to Finland and everywhere. Bahrain has a long history of support for the motorsports industry, having hosted the region's first ever Grand Prix in 2004. The name of Bahrain uh, uh, has been growing uh, day by day in, in motorsports uh, worldwide. Um, we've been investing a lot, uh, either it was Bahrain Motor Federation or Bahrain International Circuit or other uh, identities in the kingdom. Uh, which uh, putting us in, in a lead of uh, the investment and uh, growing the motorsport worldwide in Bahrain. Bahrain's homegrown enthusiasm for motorsports makes it a nation that hosts, supports, organizes, develops and participates in the success of the global sports movement.